In this pod, we introduce the poet and playwright Hannah Lavery. Hannah Lavery has been described as one of Scotland's most exciting young writers. As the child of a white Scottish mother and black Scottish father, she writes about Scotland and family relationships with fearless honesty, looking closely at themes and subjects that other writers might find too uncomfortable. It's this fearlessness that led the poet Owen Shears to name Lavery as one of the 10 writers asking questions that will shape our future. An active participant in Edinburgh's vibrant spoken word scene, where poets perform their work in front of live audiences, Lavery uses Scots dialect as well as English in her writing, which creates a sense of intimacy and familiarity. Her play, Lament for Sheku Bayo, written in response to the death of a black Scottish man in police custody, uses verbatim speech to tell this true story. Verbatim theatre is a type of documentary theatre made using the words of real people. Lavery's work explores themes of love and loss, of growing up and not quite belonging. At the age of 10, she joined her mother on protests against the apartheid regime in South Africa, a system that denied equal rights to its black African citizens. Those early experiences of activism showed Lavery that it was possible to demand change when faced with injustice. She believes that activism and political engagement have the power to shape and change lives, even for those not actively involved. Her autobiographical play, The Drift, written after the death of her father, takes the audience on a journey through Scottishness, through belonging, and through grief. Lavery says that the inspiration for The Drift was a piece of sea glass, an Edinburgh close, and her father's fast walk. The play was also inspired by the question that many British people with African heritage are faced with at some point in their lives. Where are you from? During her research for The Drift, Lavery began to discover the depth of Scotland's involvement in colonialism and the transatlantic slave trade. Although she didn't set out to write a play about Scotland and its relationship with people of colour, she was determined to tell a different story of Scotland, one that included people like her, whose ancestors came from other parts of the world. She wrote the poem The Specials for her son after he experienced his second incident of racist name-calling when he was just eight years old. The poem goes... It's written on your face, and whilst I can still read you, let me take it for you. Take it out and leave it on the step. Here we will be home. We will open the windows and scream it for the neighbours to keep. She says the poem was a way of speaking about her struggle to protect him in a world that will more often than not judge him by the colour of his skin.